What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train. All aboard the Hype Train to Awesomeville. Let's do this. I am doing these videos back to back, so this should be pretty interesting. Last video, we did work on Tower Beta. I didn't do anything in between videos. We're going to keep working on it today. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start our next tower, because I, I, I want to get this tower and that tower done by day 42 and have blade traps in between them. Can we do it? Who knows? We're going to find out. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's do this. Man, my guy is hungry. I just freaking ate, man. I just gave... Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my guy's like, you didn't just feed me, you lying son of a... Don't lie to your audience. And I forgot to plant the uh, golden rod. You guys probably told me that last video, but I did not see your comments yet. But I'm going to assume you did. Should I make the meat stew? Hmm... I really shouldn't, but it's amazing. I really shouldn't, but here I am doing it. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is really stupid. Um, <laughs> this is a waste of materials, but I don't seem to care. Uh, that's, that's really wasting a lot of meat, man. That's really... I'm still doing it. Why am I still doing this? No, Cage, don't. 12.23. All right, well, I guess we got to start. Um, that's over 12.23. I don't really care. Go for it. Um, this is going to cause uh, screamers, which we don't want. So we're going to turn this off. Um, hopefully we don't need any more from that forge for this video. Uh, well, we've got quite a lot of stuff. We might actually have enough for the next tower. So, yeah, I'm going to have to hunt more more game. That's all. Um, and if worse comes to worse and I can't find more meat, I could always, uh, when my next crop yield comes in, I could live off baked potatoes and ears of corn. It's okay. It's not a big deal. But, man... Um, you're really wasting your time making this stuff. I mean, oh boy. I, I'm, I, you know how hard it is for me not to play efficiently? Or as efficiently as possible? Like, drives me up a wall. Alright, well, enough of that. Let's get going. We're gonna come on over here. Should we use a chainsaw? I think we're gonna use a chainsaw. Even though we probably shouldn't. Because this is gonna call noise. A uh, chainsaw's... Uh, chainsaw. <laughs> I just named the last video, so I got the word chainsaw on the brain. Uh, augers can call in screamers as well. But in order to make this... In order to make this tower... We are going to need to. Actually, I don't want to do that right now. In order to make this tower, we're gonna to have to we're gonna to to dig through asphalt, and that's going to be a pain in the tuchus. So, actually, let me pick these up as well. All right, there we go. Pick these up. Waste not, want not. Um, oh, look at this, man! Zombies are really hammering my hammering my spikes, man. I do not appreciate that. Um, I don't even have any spikes to to bring them in. I gotta start upgrading these spikes to steel. I'm gonna do the wall first, but man, I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade a lot of stuff to steel because, man, my iron is stretched so thin, which is one of the reasons I was, like, on board with selling tools over... Oh, I should probably eat. Which is why I was, like, so, like, why I really wanted to sell tools over, um, over, uh, uh machete blades because the machete blades are a little bit more expensive and every bit of iron counts, man. Um, the iron problem is a real problem. It's living up to its name. You know? Alright, so watch this. I only have to eat once. That's why these are so awesome. Zero, and now I'm at 83. Boom! Hells yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's come on out here. Uh, we'll close that. What, is that something? No, okay. Alright, my wellness has just gone up. I didn't see how much it went up from that one think of stew, but probably a couple points. Oh, only one point, huh? As you guys, just so you guys know, actually, I'll talk to you about it in a minute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We don't need to count on this side. All right, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Anyway, for those of you who don't know the word diminishing returns, uh, diminishing returns is a word I learned in... M you know what? I'm going to do this off camera because this is really loud and I do not feel like... I'm going to do this off camera because it's really loud and I don't feel like turning the sound up and down. So give me one second. Let me auger this area out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got a roaming horde coming this way and a screamer coming this way. There we go. She didn't look like she called in anything too bad. Oh, hazmat zombie. Interesting. Hello. Time for you to die, my friend. Drop me some hazmat gear. Ah, lame. All right. We're going to get into some fights with these guys. The other guys are going to... It looks like they saw us. The uh, Roman Horde might be coming to us. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm pretty sure my auger helped call in that Screamer, though. And uh, the uh, that's, a, that's a real problem with the auger. So, 
Stay down. Stay down, party animal Hawaiian shirt guy. Oh, damn. Damn, that was, that was brutal. That last shot was brutal. All right, guys. All right, it looks like we're going to have to do some battle here. Fair enough. Easy experience for me. Come on, you. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. That's right. Crawl against my spikes. That means they're guaranteed a one-shot. Yeah, it goes ahead. You're dead. One shot, one shot. What's up, buddy? Oh, you just got knocked down. Oh, you just lost your leg, bro. I have no legs. I have no legs. All right, you're dead. You're gone. Oh, I missed you. Oh, there you go. Oh, watch it. You get hit by these crawlers, man. They could, they could hurt your legs, so. Okay, line them up. Knock them down. Okay. I don't know what the point of looting these zombies is because they never have anything good anymore, but yeah, we'll give it a shot anyway. It'll get our scavenging skill up. Alright, so you know we need to drop some stuff in here. There we go. Eh, it's looking pretty good. Do that. Okay. Loot some more. Looty, looty, looty. Let's do it. We should probably knock these guys up for their bones. Here's the problem with knocking zombies up for their bones. First of all, I forgot what I was supposed to talk about before I um, paused the video. I was actually going to watch the video back to like remember, but now we're already going, so I'm just going to have to apologize for that. <laughs> Number two, um, I always say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break up the corpses off camera to get the bones, and it's really important, and I should do it, and I sometimes don't. Actually, a lot of the times I don't. So... I'm going to do it off camera, or not at all, though, so, um, because it's some pretty boring stuff. Alright, guys, we are just about done augering out this asphalt. There we go. Kind of messed up a little bit down there. Um, I don't know how I want to fill that in. Uh, we could probably make some dirt. No, we didn't get any dirt. Yeah, how are we going to fill that in? Uh, I could probably just fill it in with a block. It doesn't even matter. Like, I honestly don't care. I'll waste some concrete down there. Why not? Who cares? It's not worth, like, taking the time to go get this stuff. It's like 30 pieces of concrete just got wasted. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Level 93. There you go. That makes up for it. Oh, I don't have any, um... Crap. I don't have any spikes for this. Uh, okay. Well, I really like to make the spikes. Uh, 58. Let's just make, uh... 25 for now. And I think we have a couple spikes in the back of... Uh, the mini bike. By the way, when it becomes nighttime, I'm going to pause the video and just go in and do some more organizing and, and some boring stuff. I could be out here during the night working, and I would probably be okay, to be fair. But because of the whole the way the death in the game stage thing works, I'm not going to chance it. Um, anytime you die, it lowers your game stage. And um, I really am playing like a pansy, um, partially because I don't want to make my horde nights any... any like. Um, I don't want to make my Horde Knights any easier than they have to be. And um, that's not my fault, man. That's the way the game is set up. And I think it's a, I think it's a mistake. Um, I'm just going to say it. I think it's a mistake. I don't think, uh, I don't think dying should affect your game stage. Uh, or at least give us the opportunity to turn it off. How about this? Give us a game stage modifier. Now, I know game difficulty is considered a game stage modifier. But game difficulty does more things than just game stage. Game difficulty makes the zombies uh, more sponge sponge uh bullet spongy now i know they're not as bad as they used to be the the fun pimps actually le lessened that a little bit so they're not quite as bullet spongy but they're still more bullet spongy i want a harder game stage not making the zombies any more bullet spongy than they need to be you know what i mean um so yeah i'd be i'd like a i'd like to be able to control my game stage i know some people on the forums have talked about it many times where they have their game stages on the, they, they have their game stages set up where they're like six times what they are in normal play um and like they can do it but they probably have to go in and modify a bunch of stuff i really don't want to do um so not that i'm lazy but i try and play as uh as close to the original vision of the game as possible because i'm a youtuber um uh last that last season i i changed up the the max alive settings and um because they were just the, the hordes last season were completely like boring like just the worst hordes they've ever had in the game they they completely dropped the ball on that one um I, hey man I'm, i love the fun pimps i'm sponsored by the fun pimps but i'm gonna call it spade a spade um and they know it because they changed it so but yeah i mean they 
uh, the hordes last uh, season were terrible. But I don't like doing that because it's kind of a little mi mi misrepresentation of the game. Let's say if uh, little Tommy, little Timmy, Joey, Bob, whatever. So if let's say someone's watched my videos and they decide to buy this game because of me, like I, I really shouldn't be doing too much modding unless it's a modded series. And in that case, I I call it so. So if, if they don't, you know, when I do like um, starvation mod. If they don't realize it's a modded series, that's on them. It says it right in the title. <laughs> so, but I try, I try and go, when I'm playing vanilla, I try and be as vanilla as possible. You can see I haven't even, like, put in a UI that shows the food and hunger and thirst meters, you know? Um, it's bad enough that people, like, who own the console are asking me, Cage, how come that, how come that pole defense doesn't work in my game? Um, everyone's getting in and I feel bad. I'm like, dude, it's because you're on console. And they, it was different, I guess, in Alpha 14. Now, the console's really weird. They're not Alpha 14. They're not Alpha 15. They're not Alpha 16. There's some kind of, I don't know, some kind of hybrid or something. Like, <laughs> you know, um, the console version is just like, you know, because the fun pimps can't just up, can't just do what they want. They have to answer or at least work with uh, Telltale and um, Iron Galaxy as they're, as they're uh, developing it. So, you know, I'm like, well, you know, your game's playing differently because you're on a console. You're on a different version. I'm, it sucks. But um, that's just the way it is. So I try and avoid that stuff. So, yeah, um, I'd like the yeah, I'd like some more control over uh, the game stage thing. But that's why I don't go out and build during the night because one one roaming horde could end me. You know what I mean? And it's just not. It's not that I'm scared. It's not that I don't want to die or I, I don't want to lose wellness. I, I don't. You know, not that I don't care, but um, it's not that big of a deal for me. You know, like I'll, I'll deal with it. It wouldn't be the first time I died in this game. Uh, but it, what, the thing is, if I die, it, it depresses me because then it makes for a weaker game stage for you guys. And um, and I don't want boring <laughs> horde nights, <laughs> you know? So that's the idea. All right, guys, it's getting dark. I think I'm going to pretty much go inside soon. And I'm going to do some organizing, probably do some mining, and um, probably fire up the forges as well. And then um, I think when I come out here tomorrow, we're going to we're gonna continue building here. Um, and no promises, but I think next video is going to be a looting slash um i don't know what you would call it what, what do you call it when you wrench stuff up what would you call that what would you call going out to wrench for a bunch of parts i need a verb right that like i don't know wrenching i'm gonna i'm gonna go get a bunch of parts basically and i'm also gonna do some looting that's probably gonna be next video but anyway guys i'll see you in the morning all right, guys, we're back. I've been doing some work here. Um, I got so much iron underground, guys, like in like 600 gas. By the way, I'm starting to go through my gas. Um, you guys want to know why I didn't sell those oil barrels? Well, that's why. I'm, re I'm really going through my gas. But um, I got a ton of iron. I got three stacks right here, and I put a couple stacks in both of these. I probably came out of there at about six stacks of iron, and I wasn't even down there for that long. Um, I am making steel. I am making more steel. And I'm also making iron bars. Oh, you know what? I just remembered we're going to have to turn this one off. By the way, I don't think I turned both of these off last episode. <laughs> or was it the beginning of this episode? I don't remember which one. But I'm pretty sure I didn't turn all the forges off. Because um, you know, they, they all seem to be on. So, Alright, so let's put this up here. We've got food for eight days before we have to do anything else. Alright, so uh, let's see if we can deal with this screamer. Sounds like she's been dealt with. All right, uh, down here. This is the uh, side I've been hit on twice in a row. I made the I made this whole set of of spikes steel, right? Not the outside, but the inside part. That's the ones that seem to break away. And um, I also went through and made all the iron, all the uh, bars steel as well. Um, and then I started working on that over here also. Man, we need a lot of iron people. Okay, well that's okay. Remember how I said I couldn't do any building um, during the night? Well, I did a lot of building during the night. Um, and I didn't, I didn't cut up any of these corpses like I said I was not going to. <laughs> anyway, I did a lot of building during the night. I just stayed up there until it was done. And it, um, it actually kind of worked out. Uh, I might have messed up a, a block here or there. I'm not really sure. I need to come over to this side and see how I did it. Uh, no. No, I didn't. I didn't mess up anything. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is we need to connect these now. Um, I'm going to do this one too. Uh, I'll do that one later. I kind of want to connect these. So first things first, let's get these corpses out of the way. Um, again, I don't like cutting these up on camera, but I got to get them out of the way. So I got I got no choice, people. And okay. Oh, and you know what I was just thinking? When I go for it next video, when I go for taking stuff apart, I think the laundromat is probably the best place to go for materials. Um, 
I just hope they... No, I mean, it doesn't even look like they've broken up many of these uh, machines. Wow, actually. <laughs> That's um, pretty crazy. They didn't break up a lot of these machines. I need to do these. I'm going to be doing this tomorrow. Um, I probably won't show the whole thing uh, because, I mean, it's just going to be ridiculously boring. Um, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Do I have a wrench on me? I do not. Do I have a wrench in here? I'd like to not get the, those zombies on me. Um, do I have a wrench? Uh, this is a pretty crappy wrench. I don't want to use a crappy wrench. I want. I was thinking about maybe taking some of those apart while I wait for these hordes to go past. But that doesn't... Oh, man, that's a lot of hordes. Can we get inside and grab a wrench without them seeing us? No, we cannot. Whatever. I'm going to grab a wrench anyway. I want to take apart some of those machines. I'm curious what they give me. We're not going to take a lot of them apart. I'm just going to kind of take them apart to see what they give me. I'm going to repair this as well. There we go. Right. Oh, by the way, I redid the up upstairs part. I'll show you that later. I'm just trying to avoid this horde as much as possible. Okay, let's take apart a couple of these machines. I'd like to take the part the ones on this wall, just like the ones that are like gonna break soon anyway. All right, uh, we need to loot these as well. Yeah, I'm not really worried. It's, I mean, I kind of want to loot them, but at the same time, I don't want to get full up on freaking you know a ton of clothes right now. So what am I getting from these pipes? Mechanical parts, pipes, mechanical parts. Okay, so are these only going to give me mechanical parts? It looks like they're only going to give me mechanical parts. I'll do I'll do two more just to see. But I'm pretty sure these are only going to give me mechanical parts. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Oh, I got an electrical part out of one of them. But only one, right? Out of four. So maybe I can get an electrical part or two, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to get a lot. Yeah, it seems like these are mostly for mechanical parts. Hey, man. That's that's cool. I'm cool with mechanical parts. I did get a little bit of electricity, electric parts there, but that's okay. This is where I'm going to get most of my electric parts and, and elect electronic components from lights. Ugh. Uh, scrap, scrap. There we go. Okay. Well, that's fine. We will deal with that stuff later. All right. So let's uh, let's clear out these two corpses. These might not be specifically right in the way, but they're going to be in the way enough to bother me. Okay. All right. So let me go look at what we've got. Oh, what, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to go in there. How dare you, lady? Actually, it's probably, we could probably do this better from up top. Let's go up top. I might get a little confused on how I did this on the other side. And I might have to go back and forth. By the way, this um, area is so cool. Look at this. Look at this, man. Oh, this came out so nice. I'm really happy with this. I know it seems like it's not a big deal, but I'm really happy with it. Okay, so let's come out here and let's see how we did this. Okay, so this is going to come one, two, three, and then a corner and a corner. Okay, one against the wall. One, two, three, ramp, ramp. That Oh, yeah, that'll be easy enough. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right, so we got to get down there now. I'd really like an easier way to get up and down, but I guess this is pretty easy. Pretty easy way to get up and down. All right, we're not going to get too fancy with it. Um, we're just going to look at this one over here. This is the platelet of, uh, or like the, um, the, the one I'm going to copy. All right, it looks pretty good from the bottom. I mean, don't look at this side. That's not done yet. This is the uh, ultimate side. The only way I'd like to make this look better is to put a ramp right there, but you can't do it. We've I've gone over that. Can't be, can't really do that because the um the iron bar is in the way. And then if you put the ramp there without the iron bar, there'll be a little hole in the floor. And it will look even dumber than it, it does now. I don't think it looks dumb now. I think it looks fine. So, I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, well. Alright, so let's do this. So we need some support up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this body right here. And we are going to put some support. We can put some right here. One, two. You can never have too much support, guys. Like, put more than you think you're going to need. Because these rebar frames are very, very... Uh, <laughs> Um, very not stable, very unstable. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Very unstable. So let's go ahead and grab these. And I believe we'll take this out, put that right there so we can get some more height. There we go. All right, so this one can go right here. Advanced rotation. Once we put the first one down, it's awesome because then we can just copy rotation after that. There we go. And then we put this right here. Okay. Right? Yes. I do like that. The only other way I could do this to make it look completely smooth is to put this like that. 
But again, like if I if I put that like that, it looks completely smooth. It looks awesome. Um, but the problem is we got a little hole right here and there's no way to fill that in. This ramp is actually taking up this hole as far as the game is concerned. So you can't put anything there. There's nothing you can do. It's just it's just got to look like that. I'm okay with it. I think it looks pretty good. It, it looks a little bit off at the bottom or maybe not even off, just not perfect. And, you know, I try to make everything as perfect as I can, but, you know, it's not going to be perfect, so. Okay, so right there and there and there. Is that going to be good enough? now? I'll put one there. I'm going to put extra supports down here just because. Okay, guys, we are coming up to the end of the video, but I think I got the way I want to build this now. Um, let's see if we can get down there. I will show you what I'm looking at with the inside corner filler block. And um, I think it's going to look a little bit better. I think it's going to look a little bit better. All right. So what I did over here was, you see what I did right here with the with this the corner filler? I think that looks better. It doesn't look great, but actually I think it looks pretty good. I really like it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this one out, break that one out at, off camera. Um, but we don't have to break those out on this side because we haven't built it yet. So that's the wonderful part. And as you can see right here, I've already put it up on that side. And I'm going to put it up on this side as well. Let's go ahead and grab our blocks there. Okay, so we need to get this right there. Um, I wonder if on face will help. No, it doesn't look like it. No, that's not it. No, it's got to be upside down. All right, so we're going to have to go advanced rotation here. Ugh, I hate advanced rotation. It takes forever. It's really hard to tell what I'm looking at. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, so that's um, that's how we do that side. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing right on this side. we got two more. Um, let's do that now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll come right up here. Walk on our own spikes for good measure, because why wouldn't we? Okay, so we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need a full block. Um, and that's right there. And we're going to have to get down below, too. After this. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, full block here. And we'll get down like so. This is the way I got down during the night. I kept going back and forth like this. <laughs> we gotta come up with a name for that <laughs> or or maybe we don't i don't know anyway um so let's copy rotation this right and that should go right there all right that's what i like to see that's what i'd like to see people i love the copy rotation whoever whatever fun pimp came up with the copy rotation needs a raise because this would be a nightmare without it Come on. All right, there we go. All right, let's get up there and finish this up. Call it a video. All right, I got to. I just got to do the other thing. I just got to do the same thing. This this tower we're building right now is Gamma Tower, um, and I just need to do the same thing to Beta Tower, and then I just need to connect um, Gamma and Beta Tower, and then uh, get ready to put some, you know, some uh, blade traps connecting them. That's what we're looking at next, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and copy rotation here. All right, let's come on over here and like that. Well, that, I don't know if that'll stay. It'll probably stay because even though like actually, let's see. No, nah, it'll it'll be hard to even put down there. All right, so copy rotation. Put this right here as well. While we have the rotation proper, then copy rotation. Put this one right here. And we are done. All right. All right. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to commit on this. Um, I'd like to look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. Just, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot of pain if we have to, uh, if we did something wrong. Let's make sure this is right. Let's do it right. And then I will call it a video and commit and go ahead and upgrade everything. All right. So let's look over here. Okay. Now, don't look at this side, really. Just look at this side. All right. So it comes out. You got to... You got a corner filler there, corner filler there, and then it just comes out with with uh, with ramps on both sides. Then here will be a corner filler there, corner filler there, ramps on both sides. Yeah, I mean that's that's legit, guys. I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's just make sure we did that right. Corner filler there, 
corner filler there because the um, iron bars will go on the sides of them. That's fine. Corner filler, corner filler, ramps. Corner filler. Yeah, we got it. Okay, guys. All right. So tomorrow we are going to grab a wrench and we are going to go looking for parts. I can make my own parts, but to be perfectly honest, they're... They're a little on the expensive side. I mean, I can make some if I have to, but I'd prefer to go get them myself. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab a really awesome wrench and we're going to go looking for parts. I'm going to um, finish up these towers in, uh, in between videos during the day, mine during the night, and tomorrow we will go harvesting for parts and probably do some looting as well. Maybe grab a couple cars too. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to call us from here. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.